Hello and welcome to Ask the Dice Maker. I'm Sasha, the master dice maker behind Sunshadow Arts, and I'll be your guide on this journey into the world of handmade resin dice. Today on Ask the Dice Maker, I'm going to attempt to answer a question that's a very difficult question to answer, and it personally pains me. Hey Sasha, I hate to ask, but why are handmade dice so expensive? Well, at least they say I hate to ask, right? I almost didn't make this video because this is a question I really don't want to try to answer. Probably because it isn't a question that can really be answered. I mean, how do you place a monetary value on art? Art is so undervalued in general, but I did set out to answer any handmade dice question, so here goes. If we're going to break down the cost of handmade dice, we have to look at four main categories that contribute to the expense. Number one, the actual supplies and materials used to make dice. Dice making is an incredibly expensive artistic medium. To make dice, you need a minimum of resin, which can be $100 a gallon, silicone, $250, $300 a gallon, pigments like resin dye and mica powder, my favorite thing, which is pigment paste, is $9 per color. Inclusions like glitter, foil, flakes, flowers, transparencies, things like that, each of them on their own, not that expensive, but when you add them all up, that's a huge expense. Your master dice, which can cost hundreds to thousands of dollars. Your pressure pot and compressor. Personally, my pressure pot and compressor was, I think, $900. Sanding and polishing tools and supplies. This can be anywhere from $30, $40 if you're doing it by hand to hundreds of dollars if you're using machines. Your inking tools and supplies. Again, an individual color of paint isn't that much, but when you think of 50 different colors you need to ink dice, that's a lot. And then you have all of the incidentals and tools like mixing cups, stir sticks, syringes, pipettes, cleaning supplies, and tools like Dremels, X-Acto knives, flush cutters, and ultrasonic cleaners. And then you have a workspace, so you need tables, shelves, storage, all of that type of stuff. So that's just the material expense of dice making. Number two, we have the expenses needed to run a business. So most handmade dice makers own their own small business that they use to sell their dice. So at a minimum, minimum, the cost of running a business includes any business licensing and insurance fees, your website domain and website fees, which can be into hundreds of dollars depending on your type of website. You have your credit card processing fees that takes a chunk off of every single sale. Your bookkeeping and accounting fees adding on if you ever need to use a lawyer, an accountant, a tax professional. Then you need a computer to run a business. So you have your computer, any apps, programs, and accessories that you may need. And you have to take photos of your products. So you're gonna need a phone or a camera for taking your product photos, as well as you know all of the computer programs that you need to edit your photos. The freelance work, like if you have to hire a graphic designer to design your logo, for example. And then your physical studio workshop space where you have rent, utilities, insurance. Oh, and since you're going to be shipping out orders from your online shop, you have to have dice packaging. You have to have your shipping boxes and other materials like bubble wrap or whatever you need. You have postage software, shipping expenses, mailing labels, and all of that. Not to mention that there is a huge amount of labor that goes into running a business from building a website, marketing and social media, photographing product and photo editing, processing orders, shipping, and just general bookkeeping. Now that just about covers the literal, physical, financial needs of dice creation and selling, which then brings us to number three, the time and labor the maker spends creating the dice. The time it takes to make dice can vary dramatically from a few hours to weeks of time, depending on the complexity of the design. Now dice making is a very specialized skill, so if a dice maker is charging for their labor by the hour, expect them to charge at least $20 an hour and a master dice maker can charge upwards of $50 an hour or more. Which brings us to our final aspect of dice expense. Number four, the artistic skills and training of the artist. As with anything in the world, it takes years of practice and training to get good at any skill of any kind, and art is no different. So when you're buying a die, especially from a master level creation, you are paying for the extensive training and experience of the maker. Looking at my personal experience, I went to undergrad and grad school for art and design, so tens of thousands of dollars in education. 
Add into that the many business and marketing courses I've taken in the last few years, and it is a crazy amount, not only money, but time and effort as well. Basically, the more experienced the maker, the more you can expect to pay for their expertise. And it's like that with any skill in any industry out there. The CEO makes more than the entry-level position. Okay, now hearing all of that, do you still think that handmade dice are overpriced? I surely hope not, especially considering the fact that so many dice makers undervalue themselves and their work. If dice makers were actually charging what the dice were worth, you would see prices soar even higher. So. I hope this gives you a better insight into the cost so you can truly appreciate what goes into making your favorite handmade dice. That's it for this episode of Ask the Dice Maker. Until next time. Do you have a question you'd like to ask the dice maker? Drop it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out other videos on the Ask the Dice Maker channel. If you want to check my credentials, feel free to visit www.sunshadowarts.com or find me on Twitter or Instagram at sunshadowarts.